Good afternoon, everyone. A lovely, warm welcome to our bite size QA uh, this afternoon. So, my name is Niall, and I work as part of the external relations team here at the University of Glasgow. And I'm delighted to see so many of you guys on the stream today with a real interest in coming to study here at our lovely University of Glasgow. So, for today's session, we are going to be focusing specifically on accommodation and I'm delighted to be joined by two of my colleagues this afternoon. So that is Shirley and Eric. Shirley, would you like to give a little introduction first? Hi everyone, I'm Shirley. I'm the Allocations Manager at Accommodation Services. So I'm primarily responsible for kind of dealing with your application for accommodation. So yeah, here to give you more information on that. So and I'm Eric. Um, I work for Rest Life at the Student Residences, and I'm also the assistant manager of the Clay Residences. So I'm also involved in the day-to-day -day running of one of the residences. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. So obviously the three of us are coming to you live from Glasgow today. But whenever we do these information sessions, we love to see we are everyone else is joining us throughout the world. So if you feel comfortable enough, please just give us a little hello in the chat and let us know where you're actually logging on today. That would be great. So how today's session is going to work is, is we're going to be live with you guys for roughly about 30 minutes. So 15 minutes of that will be myself, Shirley and Eric here live on the stream. After that, Another 15 minutes or so, we will be still active on the live chat. So that means that if we don't get around to answering your questions here uh, verbally, please just keep putting them in the chat, guys, as we'll still be hanging around and we'll get them answered for you as quickly as we possibly can. So yeah, I'm not going to wait around too much longer as I can already see the questions are starting to come in. So Shirley, Eric, if you guys are ready, I think we'll just get started. Um, Shirley, a couple of questions already, if you wouldn't mind answering this one, just in relation to how close are our residencies actually to our campus? Okay, yeah, we've got a wide um, range of residencies actually. Uh, the majority of those are located within about 25 minutes walk from campus. Um, we've got um, residencies in Dumfries, uh, they're between 10, 45 minutes uh, to campus in Dumfries. We've also got one catered residence. Um, that's our Wilson Hall that's available for our undergraduates. That's actually a short bus journey away from the Gash Cube. Um, sorry, short bus journey away from Gilmore Hill, um, but located up at the Gash Cube um, area where the vet school is. So it might be a good option for undergraduates certain studying up there for at the vet school. Um, one thing to note, actually, um, which is, is quite a good thing, if you're study, if you're living in Glasgow. Um, or Scotland, actually, you get um, free bus travel if you're under the age of 22. Um, so you can apply for that um, from the government at uh, gov.scot. Um, if you're over the age of 22, then various travel companies do offer um, discounted travel as well. Um, just a, a kind of point to note. But yeah, um, have a look on our website at Accommodation Services. You'll see the wide range of accommodation that we've got. There is actual maps on there to give you an idea of the location of most of the residences as well. Great, Peter, thank you very much. And that's something I always tell students whenever I'm speaking to them about that free bus pass. Guys, you are entitled to it whenever you come and study in Scotland, so definitely make the most of that if you possibly can. Um, Eric, a little question here, if you don't mind, mate. Um, this one is saying I live in Stirling. Um, can I still apply for accommodation? I suppose that could be applied to sort of anyone who lives in a commutable distance. What's the sort of idea with that? Yeah, well, basically, if you if you are living in Stirling or you're living within a commuting distance, then of course you can apply for accommodation. Um, you know, we're always happy to have students coming in, um, and especially you know, if you're wanting to start your journey to actually, you know, living independently, then we're definitely there for you and we'll support you all the way. Perfect. Thank you. Um, if you don't mind, that just another one for you as well, Eric. Um, this student here. Has actually mentioned the course they're studying specifically. So they've said, I'm hoping to study aerospace engineering. Uh, what is the best residence for me? Oh, well, 
first of all, that's a good choice of subject. I was nowhere near good enough in school to actually to study aerospace engineering um, and end up doing history. Uh, but basically, when we do things like looking at allocating you to a room, we look at things like your age and your general field of study, first of all, um, rather than automatically looking at putting every single, for your case, aerospace engineering student into a residence or a flat. Um, you can, of course, request as part of your application that you want to stay with people studying the same subject field, and that's something we'll take into account. Um, so we do, when we are allocating, we look at what kind of share requests people put into your application. So it's important if you have specific requests that you put that in. Um, even if you have friends you're going, you want to live with, you can put that into the, the request as well. That's not a problem, but do keep in mind if you want to live with, um, with specific people or friends that both of you put in each other's names into the application so we can actually match you up correctly. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Um, just to be at this point, please, if you do have more questions, everyone keep putting them into the chat. We're going through these at quite a fast pace. We'll answer as much as we possibly can. Um, but we will definitely be able to answer those questions, whether it is live just now or in that sort of 15 minutes afterwards. Um, this could be possibly a bit of a lengthy question, surely, um, but someone has just saying, can you explain the accommodation application process? No problem, Niall. It's not actually uh, lengthy because it's it's fairly simple uh, to apply for accommodation with us. You first of all have to register for an accommodation online account, which you can do through the Accommodation Services website. The first thing to note, though, is that you need to have accepted an offer of study with the university in order to do that. We'll get information onto our system, usually 72 hours after you've accepted your offer of study. We'll, we'll know um, that information and you can apply. Do you apply whether you have a conditional or an unconditional offer? It really doesn't matter. The earlier you get your application in, really the better. We would encourage that you do that as early as possible. Also, when you are uh, registering for an accommodation account, make sure you keep note of your username and your password when you're doing that, because it's really important you're going to need that later on in the process to accept any offer of accommodation you get. And equally as well, when you're actually living in residences, you can manage your stay and things using that account as well. A, a top tip really um, also is don't use the school email address that you have, because you won't have access to that later on. Um, so it, it only makes sense to kind of use one that you're going to be able to access later on. Uh, applications for accommodation are open now. They opened last Wednesday. Um, so you can get your application in now, um, which is great. Be aware also that all, all the communications that you receive from us will come by email. So be aware of the deadlines. Um, for application and for accepting your offer. You'll see the deadlines um, for accepting your offer on your offer later. So yeah, that's basically the, the short of it, Niall. Perfect, thank you very much. And it's, it's great to hear that accommodation applications are open now. So that's often like quite a big date for everyone and get to this sort of stage of that UCAS cycle for our offer holders. So it's, it's great to hear that those applications are open now. Um, so this could be a question for both of you possibly to answer, but um, basically just some people saying, well, why should I actually choose university accommodation? Obviously there is different accommodation options available in Glasgow. So is there anything specifically as why people should want to stay within the university's accommodation? Well, yeah, there, there's, there's a few reasons, uh, Niall. First things first, really, um, you get the full University of Glasgow experience uh, by staying in our residency. So as soon as you come to the uni, you're part of Team U of G, uh, and living in residencies, you'll be living with people in the same university and perhaps studying the same course if you if you if you you choose that in your kind of preference, your additional information in your application. Also, um, for undergraduates, we offer, and postgraduates, sorry, a 39-week contract as opposed to some private providers might offer 41, 42-week contract. And you really wouldn't probably need that length of contract. So you're not really paying for any more than you might that you might need for when you're studying. There is the option to extend as well. If you need to extend beyond that for any reason, then you're able to do that. We offer 51 and 52 week contracts in some of our postgraduate residencies as well. That's an option that you can select. So um, 
also you get your Wi-Fi included, a standard personal content insurance is included as well. And you also, one of the great benefits is that you get kind of all round the clock support from all of our university staff, but also our Res Life team. Eric will be able to give you some more information on that. Yeah, so um, as part of Res Life, if you're in accommodation, first of all, you might notice the beautiful, beautiful blue hoodies that we all wear, so we're easy to identify. So, you know, do come up and say hi. Um, but one of the great benefits about, about having Res Life in the residences is that, first of all, there are University of Glasgow students or staff members who have a bit part of the university experience, either by doing the course beforehand or working there for some time. Um, we're always there to talk to. Uh, you can approach us and ask us anything under the sun. Um, I'll give an example. When I first um, first arrived to Glasgow as, as a first year student and I moved into accommodation at the time, and it's my first night there, I got myself a beautiful frozen pizza and it was not one of those cheap ones. It was a really good one because I thought, you know, I'll have a good one. And I couldn't get the oven to work and I had no idea what I was doing. I'm not from the UK originally. So I was looking at this oven. I was turning all the buttons. Nothing was turning on. So I thought to myself, well, I'll phone the rest, right, um, sorry, the rest of life number. And one of the rest of life team members came up and embarrassingly showed me I'd forgotten to turn on the red switch on the side of the oven and it magically worked. So it can be something as simple as that. Um, we're also here to help signpost you to the various support services the university have um, and to offer good advice on how you can best, you know, make the best time of the university experience. Um, we're also first aid trained and also trained in mental health. So we're there to help you out if you manage to injure yourself or you know you have some more uh, support that you need. Um, we are also there the very first day you arrive we're there to help issue the keys find out where you where you're actually going you know <laughs> get you a bit of information around Glasgow and the university itself um, we can even offer advice on say what's a good local restaurant um, and one of the other great benefits is throughout the time in university accommodation, we also arrange a bunch of events and various trips to various places. Um, events can include things from a simple movie night to crafts night um, to um, we've had video game tournaments. And as someone who considers himself good in video games, I took part in one of them and I placed last. So that's not, <laughs> that's not to say that that'll happen to you, but it's actually quite good fun. Um, and some of the trips we've done before, we've gone to Loch Lomond for the day, we've gone to Stirling, but you know, like in the previous question, if you live in Stirling, you've probably already seen most of it. Um, but there is a bunch of trips and events throughout the year, pretty much one every single month at least. So it's a good opportunity to actually get to meet all the other people living in the residence and make some good friends for life. Perfect. Thank you very much. That, that was a great answer to those questions, guys. It just really showed how much a sort of community atmosphere we kind of have at our accommodation site. So, yeah, so great to hear that. Um, so we are getting close to the, the end of the actual uh, visual stream. So I'm going to do one quick question, but just to reiterate, guys, um, we're going to be active on the chat after we finish here. So please, if we don't because we'll answer your question, please still put it in there and we'll definitely get that answered for you. Um, but as a sort of final question, Shirley, Eric, just to round us off, um, when will people likely hear about the result of their application? Yeah, as I mentioned already, applications are live, so we're um, collecting all those applications at the moment. We expect offers to go out round about April time. So just kind of sitting tight until then. Um, for any undergraduate applicants that have a conditional offer of study, just note that we won't send you your offer until you've met the conditions of your study. So that might not be until August, until you get your exam results. Uh, so just note that. We allocate based primarily on the date that you make your application. So even if you are a conditional offer holder, when we do come to allocate everyone that's kind of passed their exams, then it is the date of, that you've applied um, that we can work through applications. So just note that as well. Note that also the applications are open throughout the academic year. So regardless of whether you've applied before or after the deadline, we will welcome your application. Um, so just note that as well. Um, as well. Also refer to all admissions policies. We have got one for undergraduate, postgraduate and our study abroad exchange students. Uh, have a look on there and that will give you more detailed information uh, on the deadlines that, that, that's expected of you when you're applying. 
Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Um, so, yeah, that, that's all we've got time for everyone on the actual stream component today. So if you are joining live and you do have some more questions, please get them in that chat and we'll get them answered for you. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's came and joined us um, this afternoon. I really hope you have found that useful and it's gave you a, a better understanding of exactly everything that's involved when it comes to accommodation here at Glasgow. Uh, Shirley, Eric, thank you very much for joining me as well and providing all of those useful answers. Um, it's been really beneficial. So yeah, thank you guys. But I will end it there just simply by saying thank you everyone, stay safe um, and have a great rest of your day and hopefully the three of us will be welcoming you to Team U of G in the near distant future. But yeah, thank you very much and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.